So today I promised that I would do a vlog instead of like a sit down video. So that's just what we're gonna do. And it's funny cause you say, <laughs> but Emily, you're sitting down. Yes, I am. I also told you guys in my previous video that I was gonna have two more leggings coming in the mail from Poshmark. And guess what? They're here. I'm not gonna do like a full on review like I did for the Nike leggings, but I did wanna just show you what I got and film my first reactions of trying them on. So here we go. A shout out to Brittany Heisler. My girl, Brittany. This is day four without face makeup on as well. I don't look any better, so that's right. So these are, wow, she didn't put a thank you note in them. They smell okay though, that's fine. You know, you're always nervous when you get things from Poshmark. These are really freaking cute. Oh my goodness. I have no idea what they're called, obviously, because I don't have the tag, but I'm pretty sure they're dry sculpture leggings in this blue color. And they do have the pocket, which I'm really hype about. And they, well, they actually smell really good. She definitely washed them. All right. So I have these, which I'll try on. I feel like they almost look gray, but they're definitely blue. This one's from Caitlin Block. Shout out to my girl Caitlin. Just kidding, we don't know each other. I think I'm hilarious. Hilarious. This one has a thank you note. Thank you for your purchase. I hope you love them, Caitlin. These are like the same kind of notes that I make. Like this is exactly what I make mine look like too with like hearts and smiley faces and stuff. Hilarious. Hilarious. And these I'm really excited about. These are... Hello. Hi! Sorry, I'm filming. These are the Gymshark joggers. And wow, they're really soft. Oh my gosh. Sniff test, mm, not as good as the other ones, but they don't smell bad. All right, so I got a small in both of these. These are probably gonna be tight on the waist, but I'm gonna film my reaction. Here we go. All right, so these are the dry sculpture blue ones. Um, I'm just gonna tell you right now, <laughs> right off the bat, I had to squeeze into these really hard like I barely got these on but now that they are on I really like the way that they're fitting <laughs> gotta move this back a little bit I really like the way that they fit um other than being tight I think they're flattering still they don't seem to like suck in the booty or anything eh. I like the pocket I'm really starting to think that I should have put on the joggers first just because these are going to be so hard to get off. I think I'm going to wear them to the gym tonight though and like decide if I want to keep them or not. That's what's so great about Poshmark but I really do love this high waisted thing. It's beautiful. Love it. Alright so if they weren't so tight it would be a little bit better but they're pretty tight so. Now on to the joggers. Guys, these joggers, I literally put them on and I went, oh my gosh, just because they fit so well. Oh, they're so comfy. First of all, the high waist is like, hi, hello, practically up to the boobs. But I like it. It probably keeps you really warm. And they're just super flattering. Love the pockets. Oh my. I'll show you the full bottom. I can already tell this is one of my favorite Gymshark purchases that I've ever gotten. They look kind of okay. They look kind of funny just from the top, just because they're so high. But I mean, but I mean, I love them. Look at that, Abaruski's coming in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my. You don't even understand how soft they are, though. Wow, this is kind of funny. 
Uh, overall, I really love them. I'm pretty sure I probably won't end up keeping the blue ones, unfortunately, just because they're so tight. They're like so tight, especially around my calves, like just uncomfortable. But um, I don't know. I'll wear, to the, I'll wear them to the gym tonight, and we shall see. All right, so I'm gonna go to the gym with Kyle, and I'm gonna film a back and biceps workout, and I hope you enjoy. Here we go. Okay, so I was watching Maria Scholler's video on how to deadlift and I learned a couple of things and I haven't tried them out yet, so I'm gonna try them out. First thing is everybody's first like idea of how to get in a good stance is for me to like squat down to the lowest you can to lift the bar. They're so talking about how that's not the case and you should really like find where it's natural to you so that you focus on putting your hips back first. And then the second thing they were talking about is, you know that feeling of like when you pull up the bar just a little bit and there's like a little bit of sweat? That's what they talk about like, that's a starting position. So like pull it up, I pull up with slack in the bar like this, and then pull it up from there. Instead of like pulling it up straight from the bottom, so then make sure you get formal. So I'm gonna try. What's up guys? It's Thursday night. I am being so wifey right now. Let me tell you. I am making myself dinner. Guess what I'm having? Protein pancakes because I've been eating those a lot lately for dinner. Uh, yeah, so I'm making some Kodiak cakes and I got music on. I got my diffuser going. Let me show you my diffuser. Please excuse the messy kitchen. We got this from... Burlington and right now we are diffusing the smell Elevate or I am I'll show you what the oils look like these are not the Young Living essential oils these are from Market America my company so you open it up and look at that packaging oh my goodness 
So there's focus, balance, elevate, refresh, and calm. Not very clear. Um, yep, right now we're using the elevate. Got some music going. And I'm going to start cooking and it's going to be good. And I'm home all by myself. So that's fun. Acne update. Um, you decide. I don't think I look any better at all. But this is day three. This is day five without any face makeup on, so I'm hoping it gets better. I've also been putting Pentaxel on it um, in the morning and before bed, so hopefully that will help repair the scar tissue because honestly, they just scar. Like, all my pimples just scar. You want to know how I got these scars? All right, so it looks like it's about time to make some Kodiak cakes.